Hello and welcome to another edition of Community Forum. My name is Joseph Feaster, I am the host of the program. And the program we're gonna to have today, you need to sit back, relax, take out your pen and paper because the information you're gonna receive from my guest today is just so important for you to have a most enjoyable fall. Now, summer has left us and I'm sure folks went to the beach and they did their traveling in, uh, uh, and earlier last month, it was time to get back the children to school, and we entered the period of fall, and fall has many things happening. We have pumpkins, we have leaves, we have events all throughout the region, and that's what we're gonna be talking about today. My guest today is Mary McGuire. She is the Director of Public and Legislative Affairs for AAA uh, Northeast, and we're going to be exploring a number of things. And first and foremost, I want to welcome my guest, Mary, to the program. Hey, thank you so much, Joe, for having yeah. me. It's yeah. great to be here with well, you. Well, it's you know, I decided to host this program because Roy always tells me he has so much fun. So I figured <laughs> that I would uh, alle alleviate him of that uh, and take it upon myself to be here this morning. But you know what I found fascinating? You know, I think most of us just think of AAA as just... Uh, 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 repair of you know if your car breaks right. down and and you call AAA and you get your car towed but as I was doing my preparation for this program the array of things that uh, you you know that AAA provides is uh, extraordinary so we're going to talk about a few things I'm just going to list them categorically sure. and then I'm going to let you roll with them uh, okay. to some extent you know, there was, a, there was a whole section which dealt with car care, and I, mm -hmm. I found one particular topic uh, interesting, and I'll, I'll highlight that in a moment. We have products that mm -hmm. you, uh, AAA, by being a member of AAA, you're able to get various discounts and mm -hmm. opportunities in terms of uh, uh, products. And then there's a whole travel section, and you're going to be talking about events happening in the region, but I also saw you can take cruises, uh, you mm -hmm. know, you can go a number of different places. So... Let's get underway. Uh, let's let's start with the things that people most do not know about. Okay. Uh, because we talk about the, like I said, we talk about think of AAA just from the standpoint of I buy the insurance, mm -hmm. I my car breaks down, <laughs> I get towed. Right. Thank you very much, and I keep going. Let's talk about car care, and and I'm I'm going to. You know, uh, and I'm just going to list a few, and I know that you're going to be right on top of all of these. I saw there was a Michelin tire sweepstake. There was a <laughs> AAA right. repair cost estimator uh, yep. for what your repairs are. That's right. Auto loans. Yep. Car insurance. Uh, teen driver technology. Mm -hmm. But the one that got me was how to handle uh, and deal with tailgaters. Uh, and I, <laughs> I, <laughs> I not only put that on my Facebook, I also sent it around <laughs> by email. So let's talk about car care. And you don't have to focus on the ones I've just mentioned. Mm -hmm. You know it so broadly. Let's just give a, uh, our viewing audience a sense of, more of the, uh, the multitude of things that uh, AAA does. Well, absolutely. I'm so glad you brought this up because I think there are so many people, Joe, who don't know about the incredible breadth of services and products and discounts that AAA offers. And um, it's just one of you know many incredible member benefits. But the cornerstone of what we do at AAA uh, clubs across the country is really certainly our road service. And especially as we head into the winter months, <laughs> um, you know, we're utilized even more extensively. On busy holiday weekends like Columbus Day weekend coming up, uh, we get many, many calls. So that's still the cornerstone of what we do. And yet there are so many other great things. And I'll just give you a quick sampling and then we'll drill down into the, uh, into the auto care uh, area. For example, we have a notary in all of our 30 Massachusetts AAA branches. Uh, so if you need something notarized, you can come in and get it done because every branch has a notary. And it's not something that people need every day, but often it's something that people need fairly frequently. And can't get. Yeah, exactly. And so that's something that I want people to know about. We offer discount movie tickets in all of our branches. So if you love to go to the movies, you're going to save 
Oh, in the neighborhood of about $3 off the typical price of uh, a ticket at Showcase or Regal or one of the big theater chains. Um, so that's something that we do. Um, all of our branches have financial services, insurance, travel, and a whole variety of other services. We offer registry services now in all of our 30 AAA branches. And not only do we offer registry services, which means you can get your license or registration renewed, provided you don't have any issues with it, but if it's a standard renewal, license registration, and now we also offer Real ID. So the new Real ID license, we process and transact in all of our 30 branches. So that gives you an idea of um, of the variety of services, and there are many, many more. Discount theme park tickets to some of the travel places we're going to be talking about. Great prices on river cruising, uh, on uh, many different kinds of travel experiences, adventure travel, family travel, lots of grandparents taking their grandchildren on trips now. So there are just many, many things. And if you come into any of our branches or if you visit AAA.com, you can get a real idea of that. In terms of car care, I'll talk about a couple of different aspects. I mean, first of all, we have our approved auto care facilities at AAA. And these are facilities that have been uh, checked out to make sure that the training is top notch, that the tools that are used are top notch, that the service is top notch. So these are our AAR approved, AAA approved facilities. So that's one thing. You talked about auto loans. So we do auto loans. We also refinance your auto loan. And I've done this. And you can save money every month mm -hmm. refinancing your car loan. A lot of people don't even realize that's an option or that they can do it. Um, but with low interest rates, you can often save uh, significantly um, every month on your car loan. So you can refinance that with us. We have a car buying service that I've used when I was looking for a new car. So if you know that you want a Honda Pilot and you want to buy it in the vicinity of Stoughton and uh, you want a, a black uh, car and you want uh, a used car or a new Pilot or whatever it is. I'm just using that as an example. Mm -hmm. So you can plug all of these things into uh, the car buying service tool and it will tell you that you can go to uh, McGovern Honda or Bernardi Honda or whatever it is mm -hmm. in this area and you can find three or four of these cars at these prices. You can also plug in your price range depending if you're looking for a new or used car. So, you know, these are great time savers. Um, there are lots of discounts. I don't know if you ever shop at the Rentham Outlets, which aren't too far away from here. Um, we have lots of great discounts at the Rentham Outlets. We have restaurant discounts. Uh, we have uh, all sorts of great products uh, during the holidays. Uh, if you buy five American Express gift cards for your friends or coworkers or loved ones, there is no fee as long as you buy five, and those are incredibly popular. We do the Phantom Gourmet gift card, and we offer a discount on that. So. There are just so many different things. So I would encourage people to visit AAA.com or stop into a branch. Well, you know, I, again, I, I, I am, you can almost get exhausted <laughs> with all of the, uh, you know, the, the opportunities that are presented by, uh, by AAA. And I mean, you've just, I mean, you've just touched the surface right. of, the, uh, of the things that, uh, that are offered by AAA. And, and, you know, you, you went into some of the promotional things even beyond the car care. Uh, but I saw, you know, Sprint Month, you can get a discount for Sprint. That's right. Sprint, I saw the one that was for 55 plus, so that definitely right. it was attractive to me. I'm glad you uh, yeah. brought that up. Yeah, yeah, the Sprint offers are great because yeah. 55 and over, that gets yeah. you the biggest discount. We have yes. discounts for those who are younger than 55 as well, and it also comes with a lot of other kinds of uh, services. Yeah, you know, I, I one of the things, because there is a lot of uh, credit card fraud and, and other things and, and, and bank accounts that are being... Uh, manipulated by mm -hmm. those who are unscrupulous, but that you have uh, Protect My ID. That's right, we have identity uh, you know, theft protection. You, you know, you have Atlas Moving for those, you know. So mm -hmm. I just say to you, and, and we'll talk about later on, because I want folks to see the breadth and, and, and depth of what you offer before I talk about, well, how much does this cost? We'll talk about that at the end, because I want them to, you know, uh, be mesmerized by <laughs> all your offerings. <laughs> Uh, you know, before we talk about what the price of all of these things are, because they're going to be pleasantly surprised what they're getting for the price that's there. Right. So I'm going to let you you go. I can probably just sit back. I can go have a cup of coffee <laughs> with Roy because you know this. Uh, what we're going to get into now is one of the major reasons why you're here. You wanted to 
uh, inform our viewing audience of all the great activities and events that they can partake of starting from this weekend coming up and all throughout the fall. So Mary, you're on. <laughs> okay, well please feel free to jump in. Uh -huh. And you know, while we're talking about some of the travel options, and, and these are really local, uh, foliage related, pumpkin related, fall related, uh, New England type events. But if you are traveling to Europe, for example, we also offer foreign currency services in our branches. So if you need foreign currency, you come in, you place your order, uh, and within a day, usually, we have the foreign currency that you need. So I think that's another great option for people to know about since we're talking about travel. Um, so here in Massachusetts, uh, we're going to start with Massachusetts first since we're in Mass. Uh, there are just so many great things to do in the fall. So uh, Roy, if we can cue up the uh, Salem Haunted Happenings. I know you have some photos or some pictures of that. That would be great. And there it is. Um, <laughs> Kind we'll of put the glasses back there. on, Mary, so I can maybe see that. Oh, yeah, great, great please pictures. Do. So, yeah, people in costume, which is great. So, of course, we're blessed to have Salem practically in our backyard, and Salem hosts all sorts of Halloween and witch-related activities all through October. For example, you can go on a ghost tour on any given night. They have a broomstick flight night, which I just love. I guess we all get to test the broomstick and fly around at that. They have farmer's markets all sorts of historical presentations. So there's just an awful lot to do in Salem at this time of year. Um, so I encourage everyone to go. It's a great history lesson uh, in many ways to visit Salem. And of course, it's also a beautiful waterfront community. Just let's lock in on when is that, when does that become available? From what period to what period? So that's all through October. Okay. There are haunted happenings okay. all through the month. And if you go to salem-chamber.org, you can see the full listing of all those activities. Um, the Topsfield Fair, and I think we have some pictures of Topsfield too. This is uh, a, an event uh, that is near and dear to my heart. It's actually been going on now since September 28th, and it goes through Columbus Day weekend. I have a son who grows giant pumpkins, and he has spent many a year uh, competing with his giant pumpkins at the giant pumpkin way off at the Topsfield Fair. Uh, and we always go out to see him and to enjoy the fair. And the fair offers so many things. I mean, you can see the animal displays there, uh, music, concerts. There's a midway with rides. Uh, you can learn a lot about animals and about agriculture there. And uh, it's just a terrific fair, one of the oldest in the country and very historic as well. And of course, the giant pumpkins really um, make it fun because they're on display for the entire event. Well, I, I attended a fair at a different location uh, this summer and what I found interesting were two things. One, they had the tractor pull. Right. Uh, uh, and the other one was uh, a pig race. Oh, you're <laughs> kidding. How they had fun. A, oh, yes. Uh, you know, uh, it, it was quite interesting. Uh, but I would recommend that if you're in, into nature and animals and, 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 and the like, I would say that uh, the fair would probably be a, a great choice beyond the fact of come and seeing your son's uh, award-winning uh, pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what, you are so right, Joe. And I think, you know, there's something about the New England fairs. There are many of them, and mm -hmm. it's really an old-fashioned experience, as you're saying, with the pig races and the tractor pulls. And I think that's part of the charm. We just took my son's girlfriend to the Woodstock Fair in Connecticut, and she had never been to okay. a country fair. So it was really fun. And you know, I recommend Topsfield and all of the other fairs out there, many of which have already taken place. Um, switching gears a little bit, uh, the head of the Charles Regatta in Boston, which is October 20th and 21st. Uh, this is uh, an event that uh, draws thousands of spectators as well as rowers from all over the world. And only the Boston Marathon in Boston attracts more spectators. Um, than the head of the Charles Regatta. So if you've never been to the head of the Charles, hopefully they will have a beautiful crisp fall day. You can go out there. There are many spots along the Charles River where you can watch the rowing competitions. And that goes on for two days and it's really something to see. Um, I had an opportunity when I was in, uh, in fact, my first year of college, uh, there was a, a gentleman who, well, I think now he is the rowing instructor or the head of uh, the athletic director, UMass Amherst, oh, uh, yeah. uh, his last name is Dietz. He was one, he was a, a, on the crew team at Northeastern, uh, you know, all of them were like six plus and oh, over I know. Yeah. Uh, for one. Uh, but the other thing is he won 
the, 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 uh, was it the Helmley? Uh, he won the one in, in Britain. Oh, yeah. Okay. He won that for the single row. So I'm at least familiar with the sport. Is. Yeah. But uh, you are absolutely correct. It is a great time. It is a great activity. And uh, it's something interesting to watch all the skulls. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's absolutely. great. Absolutely. And if you can find a high vantage point in Boston to watch, that's often the best <laughs> way to go, too. So. Um, but lots of good viewing spots along the river. Um, not too far from where we are in Stoughton, uh, Ward's Berry Farm, one of my favorite spots locally. Um, all sorts of things going on there in the fall, hay rides and all sorts of demonstrations, a great farm store. Um, in the summer you can pick blueberries and of course apple picking, all of those kinds of things and great pies and um, really a fun experience for the kids. I used to take my kids there all the time uh, when uh, they were growing up. That's in Sharon. And a similar experience at the Big Apple in Rentham, which is again one of my favorite local spots. And they have terrific cider, terrific cider donuts if you like cider donuts. <laughs> um, and all sorts of vegetables, fruit, pumpkins, uh, again apple picking. Uh, hay rides on the weekend, that type of thing. So, and all of these events are just again uh, are things which are going on now and run throughout the entire month. Or you need to go online to see when they're uh, they're actually going to be open and operating. Yeah. So I think Ward's Berry Farm and the Big Apple are open. Um, in full force until about Thanksgiving time. And Ward's Berry Farm may actually be open year round, but the Big Apple, I think, um, does business right through into Thanksgiving because again, they sell pies and apples and all mm -hmm. sorts of things like that. Okay. So it's a great spot. Um, if you wanna go out and see some foliage, I always find that Route 2 is one of the best uh, foliage viewing spots in Massachusetts. So I recommend the Mohawk Trail Ride, Route 2 and 2A out to Williamstown and the Berkshires. Um, really a beautiful ride. Uh, you may encounter some traffic, but it's a great spot. So once again, I recommend it. Um, and if you're headed out uh, to that part of the state, Take a trip through the Quabbin Reservoir. This is a gorgeous spot again, terrific foliage at this time of year, very large area, the largest inland body of water in Massachusetts, mm. in fact. Okay. So I've ridden a bike through there, actually. There's some really uh, <laughs> extreme rolling hills. The downhill was fun, the uphill not so much fun, but really a great place to see. And of course, it's the reservoir that uh, feeds the city of Boston. So. Um, and uh, Stoughton as well. That's right, yes, exactly. Much of the Boston metro area in the state. So um, headed to the uh, other side of the state, headed east, the Martha's Vineyard Food and Wine Festival in Edgartown. So for anybody who loves food and wine and who doesn't, right, that's October 17th through the 21st. Uh, Edgartown is just a beautiful, beautiful town in the heart of the vineyard. and. Um, just a wonderful place to visit. Lots of historic homes, great shopping, beautiful beaches. There's a lighthouse there. So really uh, a fun place to uh, spend a weekend or spend some time. And we see some of the uh, other attractions there on screen, uh, the music, uh, the food, the wine, uh, and just a beautiful, beautiful area uh, to explore. Uh, corn mazes, I'm just throwing out a general recommendation. There are lots of people who love to uh, incorporate a good corn maze visit into their haunted happenings. So we've got haunted corn mazes all over Rhode Island, all over Massachusetts. There are lots of locations. So a fun thing uh, for you and your kids. Uh, and you know, a lot, of, um, a lot of kids I know, teenagers and 20-somethings love you know, a visit to the corn maze is just a fun thing to do. Just want to pause for a moment because I wanted I want our viewing audience to digest some of the happenings here. They may want to write some things down and make some notations uh, on some of the happenings that you presented to them. Let me just, uh, as they say, digress for just one moment and let's talk because all of the things that you're referencing, at least from a um, a locality standpoint. We're talking about people driving to, we're talking about people maybe taking buses, mm -hmm. but we're not talking about flying. And we're now talking about on the road, we're watching the gas prices right. uh, increasing. <clears throat> Let's talk about that a little bit. And we're talking about the safety issues. I mean, one mm -hmm. of the, I mentioned earlier when we talk about car care, one of the articles in there was talking about how do you, how do you handle a situation with ta uh, tailgaters mm -hmm. uh, and how you should act and how, you know, you may attempt to uh, uh, get them to act appropriately as well. 
Talk about that a little bit in the sense of from, from the AAA perspective, because you put out those bulletins as well in terms of safe driving and mm -hmm. et cetera. So can we just uh, chat about that for oh, a minute? Oh, well, absolutely. Well, so this is one of my favorite topics because I work in traffic safety. So um, on the subject of mm -hmm. tailgating, which I think is one of the most irritating things that happens to drivers out on the road, and it can be one of the most dangerous as well, uh, we always say avoid road rage, don't engage. So if somebody That's is hard. tailgating you, it is hard, <laughs> but hard. <laughs> um, you know, we all need to relax a little bit more on the road. We need to mellow out. I think it's very difficult sometimes in the Boston area um, because of the traffic situation. I think people tend to um, many times be rushing and that's why they're tailgating. They haven't allowed enough time to get to work or to get to a party or whatever it is, but typically it's work. Um, and so the frustration level builds, you find yourself tailgating or being tailgated. Um, but again, our advice to motorists is, first of all, don't tailgate. You always want to allow a safe stopping distance between yourself and the car in front of you. Well, in fact, the rule used to be in terms of for each, uh, for each 10, 10 miles, it was one car distance or something like that was, it was the rule. Right. So, you know, again, we would advise people, if you're being tailgated, I mean, first of all, make sure that you're not in the passing lane which is supposed to be used by law for passing only. Make sure you're not in the passing lane going slowly because that irritates a lot of people and it can lead to tailgating. So that's a problem. So make sure you're in the appropriate lane, you know, based on your speed, your safe speed. And if you are being tailgated, our advice is simply to change lanes if it's safe to do so and get out of the way mm -hmm. um, and let that person be on their way again to avoid road rage, which seems to be a growing problem, don't engage. So with anybody, it's not just tailgating. Tailgating is just one form of aggressive driving behavior. We've all seen the drivers that weave in and out of traffic, for example. Um, we've seen speeders. We've seen people uh, who are clearly agitated on the road and, um, and they're acting aggressively towards other drivers. So again, don't engage. You don't want to engage uh, any and we won't even talk who, about the textures, the shavers, the makeup <laughs> put oners. We won't right. even talk about them. <laughs> yeah, and distracted driving and texting is a huge problem. I mean, you know, if I could send any message when I talk about traffic safety, it's always buckle up, wear your seatbelt. Uh, fortunately, we've seen the rate of seatbelt usage in Massachusetts go up yes. significantly in the last year to about 81 percent, but the national average is about 90 percent of drivers are wearing seat belts and so we're still lagging behind in Massachusetts. Your seat belt is your best defense against tailgaters, against texters, against makeup putter honors, all those people <laughs> that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. You know, so you want to make sure that you've got that seat belt on. If you're a parent, make sure that your kids are belted, uh, especially your young drivers. They're the most at risk and inexperienced, so make sure that they're buckled up and belted. And the best thing you can do is buckle up yourself because that models good behavior for your kids. There was never any question about my three kids buckling up. They do my it automatically. My children used to do the, the same when I didn't uh, in terms of mention it because they grew up in that generation. Mm -hmm. But before anyone thinks of that in terms of I would, being sexist at all, there's also the men who uh, are shaving uh, <laughs> while, they're, while they're driving. So it's not only the makeup uh, put on, yes, there's also true. the persons who are using the razors while they're, uh, well not the razors, but the uh, uh, the shaver, you can see I don't do that, so I don't even know what they're called. I have to ask Roy about the uh, which, which shaving thing you use here. <laughs> yeah, uh, I saw yeah. somebody actually playing a trumpet and driving on yeah. 495 North <laughs> last year, so that was a new one. So we have seen it all at AAA, and I think our basic message there, Joe, is simply focus on your driving. Driving is challenging. We think we can multitask. Very few of us, usually they, they say only fighter pilots can multitask really successfully. And so you really need to be focusing your attention on the roadway when you're driving for your own sake, the sake of your passengers, and for the sake of everybody else out there sharing the road with you. Let's talk about it since we're in this conversation about road safety. I know that you have a program for young people as well. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's referred to, let me see here, it's referred to teen, drive, teen driver technology. I gather mm -hmm. there's some, something in the vehicle which helps the parents have a, a some sense of relief that the young person is uh, driving appropriately. Mm -hmm. Can you talk mm -hmm. a little bit about that? Oh, absolutely. Well, first of all, we have an insider program. Uh, that kids are eligible for. This is a pre-permit program uh, that gives them some discounts, gives them uh, emails related to safety. Um, you know, it's basically a AAA membership that it's, that's a pre-permit type of 
uh, program. So that's something we're very proud of. Um, and we have uh, a variety of programs uh, for teens that are pre-permit programs as well as teen driving programs. We always encourage uh, young drivers to take advantage of our AAA uh, driver contract with their parents where you actually sit down and talk about you know, what, what is uh, your phone use in the car going to be? 16 and 17 year olds in Massachusetts uh, cannot use a phone at all. They can't talk hands-free, they can't hold a phone. Um, you cannot do that until you're 18 years old. So you can only talk on a phone if you're a 16 or 17 year old junior operator as we call them in uh, Massachusetts. Uh, you can only uh, talk on the phone in an emergency when you're pulled over in a safe place. So we deal with everything from seat belt use to uh, proper driving techniques uh, to uh, safety to talking to your parents about who's responsible for insurance and for all sorts of things. Um, and it's really been a great program. We also have a driving school at AAA. Um, so uh, this is uh, a great program that we offer in a number of locations in Massachusetts. We have some locations in the schools. We have a driving school in Westwood where I work in Rockland, uh, South Dennis. So we have a number of uh, AAA driving school locations and we're very proud of that program because we feel that we are among the best equipped uh, out there to teach kids how to drive safely. And I, I would urge all parents to um, invest in a good driver education uh, program for their young drivers because again uh, driving a car is probably going to be the most dangerous thing they do every day and anything you can do to arm them with skills and knowledge about safety and to encourage them to buckle up is extremely important. Let's shift to the other spectrum in terms of age. What do you have for seniors? Oh, I'm glad you asked about that. So we also have a whole uh, senior mobility program and we have a website uh, for seniors. And uh, we really at AAA are all about driving safer longer. So we know that uh, a significant amount of people in this country turn 65 every day. Uh, there will be more seniors uh, living and driving uh, in future years and so we have a number of programs. We have a roadwise review program where uh, seniors can take a refresher course. Uh, throughout our territory, we offer something called the Driver Improvement Program. And this is a program for drivers who are generally 55 and older, offers a refresher uh, for them. It's a multi-hour program, so we go into uh, some depth, but we would deal with anything from changes in the laws to uh, signage changes to things that older drivers can do to be safer on the roadway. What we often find with older drivers is that they actually tend to be quite safe in many ways up to a certain age, up to the mid 80s, I would say. And that's because they tend to do something that we call self-policing. So in other words, they don't drive at night in many cases. They don't drive in bad weather. They don't drive at rush hour when there's a heavy volume of traffic on the road. They avoid left-hand turns that are not protected by a light at an intersection so that they have an arrow or something like that because many, many crashes occur when drivers are making left-hand turns. So um, seniors tend to employ all of these kinds of devices. They tend to drive a little slower. Um, we'd like to see all of them wearing their seat belts for sure. We'd like to see everyone wearing his or her seat belt. But so we've got a whole uh, website, AAA.SeniorDriving.com, that people uh, can log on to for some great driving tips for seniors as well. And we also are encouraging um, seniors who have decided to, uh, to turn in the keys, and we have a Keeping the Keys program, by the way, which is all about having that discussion with your family as to when it's time to perhaps give up driving, which is a hard thing to do. Um, but we've got, um, uh, recently we've started looking at ride sharing capability and the great options that are presented to seniors by ride sharing, by Uber, Lyft, and the other ride hailing companies. So even if you've had to uh, give up your keys, give up driving at a certain age, now you have a lot of great ride sharing possibilities available to you. And the, the apps are very easy to use. So we're starting to look at teaching seniors about that, about accessing the ride hailing apps. And it's not just seniors, it's people with disabilities. Um, it's people whose driving capability has been limited in some way for whatever reason. And now there's a whole new option out there for them. 
You know, Mary, I'm going to go to uh, to the sponsors of this of Community Forum, and but I mean, just the the breadth of uh, of activities, programs, offerings that uh, AAA has. I mean, it's just spellbounding. Uh, you know, I consider myself one who is well informed, uh, <laughs> and I can have to say it, I'm ignorant of all of these things. I mean, I get the uh, the offering in the mail in terms of the joint AAA, and I say, okay, uh, you know, and I say, I know I already have to my insurance company, I have my, uh, my uh, towing and all of those things taken care of, but this, uh, this conversation with you has, uh, you know, has been an eye-opener for me. Uh, oh, that's great. Because, uh, you know, it, it may, when we start talking about the cost, it may be worth my joining, <laughs> even if I have, the right. the uh, the towing or whatever service through my insurance company, uh, you know. So, but we'll come back and talk more about that because we're going to allow you to do some of the marketing pieces. Cause you're doing <laughs> that very well now. <laughs> but we'll come back. But uh, we'd like to go and take care of our sponsors of who uh, support this program. Sounds so good. Take it away, Roy. <laughs> Hi, it's Gary Lapierre, and the crew wants to thank. Mm, 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 Maxie's Delicatessen. That's at 117 Sharon Street in Stoughton. They're 781-341-1662. American Cancer Society. Yes, they're looking for volunteers. Drive cancer patients to and from their treatments. 1-800-ACS-6662. Or just go to www.cancer.org. Ilsa Marks Food Pantry in St. Anthony's Free Market, 2 Park Avenue in Stoughton. For more information, call Christine Gallagher. That's at 781-341-0611 or 781-341-0549. Meals on Wheels. Just ask for Jessica. You'll find her at 781-344-8882, extension 2. Stoughton Penny Saver. Our business is advertising your business, they tell us. 27 Rose Glen Street, Stoughton, 781-344-4833. Community Forum Showtimes in Stoughton. It's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at 6 p.m., Monday at 8 p.m., Tuesday at 5 p.m. It's on Comcast Channel 9 and Verizon Channel 28. All comments and suggestions welcome. Contact us at communityforum1 at yahoo.com. Samaritans, they're at 41 West Street on the fourth floor in Boston, 02111. Their phone number is 617-536-2460, 24-hour helplines for Samaritans, and the number is 877-870-HOPE. That's 877-870-4673. Samaritans, you can find them at 800-252-TEEN. That's 252 8336 or find them online at samaritanshope.org just was relaxing and having such a great conversation with you uh, See, after, I'm going to have to speak with Roy after the program. He's uh, had me caught on ear with uh, not prepared to continue my conversation <laughs> with you, Mary. But that's all right. All of the viewer audience knows that I'm usually on point, And uh, I will... Doing a uh, great job. Yeah, I'll take this responsibility <laughs> on ear, but I'll discuss it with Roy off ear. Okay, sounds good. Well, well let's, con let's continue our conversation because, again, and if any of you are just uh, tuning in, you're... you're Viewing Community Forum. My name is Joseph Feaster. I'm the host of the program, and my uh, most informative guest today is Mary McGuire. She is the Director of Public and Legislative Affairs for AAA. And for those of us who were uninformed or ill-informed, we uh, thought of AAA just simply as fine. We needed to get our car, our, our car towed because we had a break-in. Someone will come and deliver us the keys open our doors in terms of it, deliver some gas, tow our vehicle if we've been uh, in either the car is broken down or either you've had an accident if, if there's not a police tow. And you know, that's all we thought of AAA, but what you have made us aware of today, Mary, is that AAA is much more than that. Oh, much, much more. Uh, in terms Absolutely. of the products and offerings and the services that you can get by being a member, the 
the assistance with, I guess, one's maturation. I mean, from the standpoint of dealing with our youth all the way to our seniors oh, in terms absolutely. of certain things as far as cars, to help some of us think about how we want to behave while we're in our vehicles mm -hmm. and, and how we may behave as far as others. And like I mentioned earlier, the, the, uh, the tailgating, uh, <laughs> uh, the, you know, and that one's going to stick to my mind because I'm one of those, I, I, my father taught me early on in terms of how to leave the distance between right. cars. And if there's anything that annoys me or unnerves me the most is a person that's right on my back. I, I, I mean, in terms of that is, so I'm going to have to learn meditation going forward well, and how to deal with that. Yeah, and you know what, a couple of quick points about yeah. that, Joe. I'm glad you brought it up because, again, yeah. uh, tailgating is only one form of aggressive driving. There are many forms, as we all know, when we spend time on the roads. But two quick points. One is that winter, I hate to say it, is coming. And that means you need to allow even greater stopping distance. When we right. are on slippery roads, we've had a lot of rain lately, a lot of heavy rain. You just need to allow greater stopping distance in rain and snow than you even do otherwise. And so tailgating is not safe. It's a dangerous practice for both the tailgater and the person being tailgated. And so I think people need to keep that in mind. The other issue I would bring up too is that nobody likes to sit in a traffic jam, right? I'm sure you don't. That's right. Um, and, you know, here we are right off of Route 24 where we see many traffic jams, the expressway just up the road, many traffic jams there on any given morning, any given evening. People who tailgate make the situation worse because if you're tailgating, that means the situation is ripe for, uh, for a rear-end collision or for a fender bender. And it's those collisions that create even greater congestion and even greater traffic jams. And well, so, they've even talked about the, the continuous braking right. slows down traffic. There's some studies that I've, I've, I've heard about which talk about that. If mm -hmm. we were keeping a steady flow of the traffic, right. traffic would move. Uh, so again, there's a lot of just bad things about it, but I think uh, you know maybe they should, maybe AAA should put up a sign which says, <laughs> meditate about ta uh, tailgaters, because I can tell you that's the most infuriating thing beside the persons who are weaving in and mm -hmm. out of traffic. It is the person you look in your rear view mirror and you can even tell, you, you, you can see what they look like. You, you would be able to describe them. And if you can describe someone, I think they're <laughs> pretty close. Well, and you know what else impedes the flow of traffic? People looking at their cell phones, which is really an epidemic in Massachusetts right now. And that's why we've been campaigning at AAA for a change in the law to ban handheld cell phones, um, to get people off their phones, to get people focusing on their driving. But what we see happen is that people are looking down at their phones, they don't realize the person in front of them That's is right. now 100 feet ahead or that the light has changed and they impede the flow of traffic. I mean, how many times have you been sitting at a red light? That's right, and you, you, know, you wait because you don't want to be discourteous. I hate using the horn, yeah. but you, after a while, I mean, you could have gotten out of the car, walked around the car. That's right. <laughs> and, and that person hasn't moved. That's right. And yes. it's because they, you know, that driver is looking at his or her phone and it impedes the steady flow of traffic. So you're absolutely right. All right. Well, I'm going to, we're going to, we've talked about the driver's education <laughs> piece. We've tried to get the, the mindset towards appropriateness behind the wheel, looking at what you're paying attention to what you're doing taking advantage of the services in that respect that are offered by AAA. And, you know, we talked about the insurance, we talked about the loan. So we'll, we'll give them that because that's what most people know about with AAA. But let's go back to, you know, we have the local events you were talking about, mm -hmm. but there's also the other things like the cruises and things of that nature. So I'm going to let you go again. <laughs> I'm going to try and sit over here and be quiet as you decide which way you want to go and walk us through some of the travel things that you have in mind. Okay. Well, absolutely. I mean, we all offer lots of great cruise vacations, whether it's a European cruise, whether it's a river cruise. River cruising is very popular. Uh, right now, we've got some great Viking River cruises that we offer at great prices. Then, of course, there are the Disney cruises. Uh, we talked about the Caribbean, uh, Bahamas, Bermuda, lots of cruise options at AAA. And again, um, what we see, too, is a lot of uh, what we call grand travel. Um, grandparents who are taking the whole family on a cruise, who are taking their grandchildren on a cruise, that type of thing. And so there are also some great family vacation cruise travel packages 
uh, that are terrific. But again, those river cruises are very, very popular uh, right now. Um, Triple H has helped me plan a trip to Scotland. Um, they were incredibly helpful. One of the things that uh, we think it's important for people to know is that travel agents, uh, which we have in every single uh, of our 30 Massachusetts offices, offer a tremendous depth of knowledge and perspective and expertise when it comes to travel. For example, when I went to Scotland, our uh, longtime agent in our Westwood office, Marie Trask, said to me, don't drive the Isle of Skye yourself, do a tour, book a tour, and she was so right. It was so much more relaxing, especially given the driving situation on the left-hand side of the road. So these are the kind of tips that you get from travel agents who have been there, who've done that, who've done the trip, who've stayed in the hotel. So you're getting that depth of experience and expertise. You're also getting recourse if you're for example, in Europe or in California or wherever you are and you have a problem with your hotel or your trip, you can call your travel agent and that person can intercede for you uh, with a vendor. Um, that travel agent can advise you on uh, travel insurance. And what we're seeing too is that even among millennials who do much of their travel bookings online, many of them are busy. They're busy at work. They need help planning a trip. And so they turn to a travel agent more and more to help them. And they may be texting back and forth with that travel agent. But again, it's really worth your while, even if you like to do your own vacation planning, to stop into one of our branches make friends with one of our travel agents, um, talk about uh, some of the options that are available, whether it's a cruise, whether it's an adventure vacation, whether it's taking your grandchildren someplace. So I think that's a great option that AAA provides, that human contact. We have agents and travel service counselors who have a tremendous following, people who've been booking with them for many years, and they know they can trust them and rely on them. And things do go wrong when people travel. So I would really recommend coming in and talking with one of our agents. Well, you know, I was going to save this to the end, and I still will. I'm just <laughs> panting to be able to talk about what all of this may potentially cost, because I know right. it's a bargain. And you know what? I'm, I'm going to say this on air. This conversation with you as that when I was receiving the, uh, the offering from AAA in the mail, and I said, I don't need it because et cetera, you have convinced me to... <laughs> To get a membership, I'm, and, and I, great. you know, I'll either take it with you, and you can take it back to them, or in terms of I'll do it. I mean, because I just think it have you have opened up my eyes to all the things that AAA offers, and there are many even benefits. For instance, you're talking about the travel, traveling abroad next year. I have a travel agent, etc. But it seems like there could be some advantages that that would that might work directly for me and personally for another conversation about the trip that I'm going to be taking and uh, what types of savings and benefits that I might be able to incur uh, in order from that uh, from that so so you've convinced me just on a personal basis uh, in order to take a look at at that so uh, wonderful I've recruited so, yeah. a new member here this yeah, morning and I hope that some of you online <laughs> feel the same way that I do and 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 I'm and we're gonna go because I you and I were chatting so much I don't even know if they put up your information on the screen I don't want to uh, if Roy can find that we'll do that so that they know there you go oh my goodness he is just extraordinary he's amazing yeah isn't uh, he? you know that's the, if one wanted to find out information, is that the uh, www.aaa.com? Uh, uh, that's where they would go? AAA.com will give you, we get an you get entire me. travel section. All okay. of our member discounts for travel are on there, all of our services. You can call me at that number if you have questions about any of the things we've talked about. Um, again, I think a great thing to do is to visit AAA.com and really see all of the different things that we do. You can email me at mmcguire at AAANortheast.com if you have any questions as well. Yeah, well, in turn, like I said, I'll be utilizing that either today or tomorrow. Terrific. I'm, uh, in order to get my membership so that I can explore some of these offerings Wonder. that you're talking about. Wonderful. So we've, we've migrated into what one can do from a from an international standpoint, from you know, the cruises to uh, the Viking cruises and cruises throughout the Caribbean and, and, and elsewhere. So, and these are all things, the uh, viewing audience, that you can explore online going to AAA.com. Mm -hmm. But let's talk about, because we wanted to talk about what's going on in the region sure. uh, during this uh, fall festivals and, and uh, offerings and activities that are going on. So why don't we continue with that conversation? Absolutely. So right here in Massachusetts, I think we... Uh, 
We paused when we were talking about the corn mazes. We've got some great pictures of the cranberry harvest celebration. Roy, if you can show us those. And that's taking place in Wareham, Massachusetts. We all know that uh, this is one of the primary cranberry growing areas of the country. And you can go out to Wareham on the Cape and uh, enjoy the celebration. You can see demonstrations of cranberries being harvested. There's music, there's food. Uh, all sorts of wonderful things made with cranberries, so that's a really terrific thing to do, and that is uh, October 6th and 7th. So well, I hope the guys weekend. who are in that commercial that they have on TV or will be there, uh, <laughs> you know, that's an interesting commercial. The Ocean Spray oh, guys, that was, I know that, that's right. Oh, yes, I just love it, particularly when it gets into its karate moves. But I anyway. know, they have great commercials, and I've been to the Ocean Spray headquarters, and it's a gorgeous uh, headquarters, really pretty. Um, we also have pictures of the Wellfleet Oyster Fest, I believe, and that is coming up October 13th and 14th on the Outer Cape. Uh, there you see one of the many bands that will be playing. And of course, for anybody who loves oysters, uh, this is a terrific treat. It's a beautiful area of Cape Cod. There's a lot to do there. Wonderful beaches, beautiful town. Uh, but if you love oysters, it's the place to go. And you know, just because you don't like raw oysters doesn't mean you can't go because there are fried oysters and oysters made every which way, so <laughs> it's fun. Um, for those of you who want to stay closer to Boston, we also have some photos of the Boston Taste of WGBH Food and Wine Festival. Uh, which you see right here. And of course, we have many devoted listeners of uh, public television and public radio in Boston. They do a tremendous job, so we love to support them. And for anybody who is a, a food and wine connoisseur, and I think most of us uh, love food and wine, it's a terrific festival uh, to attend. Um, again, switching gears, going out to the coast, uh, New Bedford, the Working Waterfront Festival. Uh, which we have coming up this month in October, and this is a chance to really explore uh, the waterfront of New Bedford. This is one of the busiest fishing areas and most productive fishing areas in the world, and certainly in the U.S., and uh, they've got a wonderful cobblestone street downtown area. Uh, the Whaling Museum is really something terrific to see if you've never been there, recently refurbished. Uh, I know someone who just did a wedding there. So there's a lot going on in downtown New Bedford to see. So take advantage of that festival. And Mary, just to underscore the historical nature of that uh, of, of New Bedford. Mm -hmm. New Bedford was the principal fishing port mm -hmm. uh, in the startup of this country. Uh, I think it still one, is. I think it's know, still the most productive fishing and, port. Um, you know, and I have been to New Bedford, and it is quite fascinating uh, in order to watch. And many still derive their livelihood from, oh, uh, from, from fishing and, 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 and the attendant uh, uh, um, jobs that are related to that. So mm -hmm. uh, it probably is exciting to see and see. And, and it was, whaling was one of, that was That's another, right, was that was one of the whaling capital, capital for, yeah. for the longest time. So, you know, on, on Community Forum, with a guest like you, we not only talk about happenings now, but we can talk about happenings past. That's right. And bring the historical relevance to a number of these communities that you've talked about are, are, are steep with history Absolutely. Uh, in so many different ways. So even if you're not going for these festivals, you're going to learn a lot about these companies. When you go into Mohawk Trail, there's a whole mm -hmm. history in terms of the Mohawk Trail. There's Absolutely. a whole history about, uh, you know, as you talked about with New Bedford, many of the places down on the Cape. So, mm -hmm. hey, folks, tune in the Community Forum, but <laughs> primarily go to aaa.com to That's get your right. information. Exactly. Yep. Visit AAA.com and you can find out more about all of these. And again, feel free to email me. I can send you the list of all of these activities, that type of thing. Um, and I don't know if you want me to continue talking oh, keep, about... Oh, listen. Come okay. on. In terms of they want to hear you, <laughs> not me. <laughs> okay. So um, we talked about the uh, WGBH Food and Wine Festival, the Working Waterfront Festival in New Bedford. Uh, you can head inland to Central Mass uh, if you're going on that little drive through the Quabbin Reservoir, and you can visit the Tower Hill Botanic Garden in Boylston. They have a special... Ikebana flower exhibit that is uh, running in mid-October and uh, this is something that uh, is really terrific to see. I've been to the Tower Hill Botanic Garden. They've got some terrific exhibits there so if you're a gardener and you're sad that gardening season is over in some ways, uh, it's a nice way to extend 
your gardening passion into the fall and winter. So that's something terrific to see. Um, the Great Pumpkin Lighting and Stroll in Newburyport, Mass. So we have a AAA branch in Newburyport. You can go visit the branch, but it's also a beautiful harbor in Newburyport, a gorgeous area of Massachusetts. And the Great Pumpkin Lighting and Stroll is on Saturday, October 19th. And so there are thousands and thousands of lit pumpkins. You can stroll amongst them, take a look at the designs. And there's a similar and even larger event at the Roger Williams Park Zoo in Rhode Island, and we Wait call that the Jack O' Lantern ago. Spectacular. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, isn't that terrific? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And I've never seen so many uh, designs that one can do with a uh, with a, a pumpkin. Absolutely. Yes. Oh, the, the master pumpkin carvers are so talented. They're really artists in their own right, and they have the added challenge of cutting through uh, that thick pumpkin shell. So. Um, the spectacular, if you've never seen it at Roger Williams Park Zoo, is terrific. You can also take advantage of a wonderful zoo there uh, outside of Providence, Rhode Island. They've got a zip line there now, so lots of fun things going on. Um, and it's big. I mean, it's there. It there, is. It is uh, I would say walking through the time when we visited a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, it's easily a a, a two-hour uh, you know extravaganza for you because you're seeing all these pumpkins and you're stopping and you know and taking advantage of that. So yeah, it's it was a great time. Yeah, it does take a couple of hours to see it, and every year there's a theme. Um, you know, so you see everything there from carvings of the presidents of the United States to the Beatles to sports figures, you know, so every year there's a theme and mm -hmm. it's really fun. And in fact, my son grew a 1700 plus pound squash, wow. which actually is going to be carved at the spectacular this year. So oh, that's going to okay. be a first for us. So that's going to be fun. Well, you said your son twice. Let's give him promotion. <laughs> what is your son's name? His name is Alex Noel. Okay, Alex yeah. Noel. <laughs> you know, in terms of, just remember that name. Uh, you know, That's he's right. he's he's famous. So uh, so so I tell Alex, your mom mentioned you on air, and That's right. uh, you know, because she's so proud. Famous for pumpkins. <laughs> but at any rate, so pumpkins are big and so are apples. So we've got a number of uh, wonderful apple events coming up. And who doesn't love apples, right? And they're good for you. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. So in <laughs> Princeton, Mass, uh, near Wachusett Mountain, we've got the Princeton Apple Fest on October 19th. That's coming up. Uh, in Marlboro, and I believe we have some pictures of this event, um, Marlboro and Northampton, Massachusetts, we've got the Paradise City Arts Festival. That's actually in November, November 22nd through the 24th. Uh, and that's a display of contemporary uh, art and crafts. Um, right now we're looking at a picture of the Holiday Sampler event, and that's at the Big E, the Eastern States Exposition. Uh, in, outside of Springfield, Mass. And this is actually the number one craft fair in Massachusetts, and admission is only $8. So that's also uh, a wonderful event. We've got another terrific Apple Fest in Wachusett Mountain in Massachusetts. So um, that's October 13th and 14th. So well, lots we're of events. But they're going to have to go online and to look at all of the uh, additional events that you have because we're coming right. to close to the close of the program. We've had so much fun here. <laughs> Uh, I wasn't keeping, uh, uh, well, I'm keeping track of the time, but I'm having so much fun I've been ignoring <laughs> it. Uh, but I want to come back in there because I definitely never, ever want to be chastised by Roy, so I got to make sure <laughs> that I end the program on time. Uh, but let's, as I w I've been alluding to throughout the program, that the offerings that you've talked about, both in terms of car care, you've talked about the driving safety, You've talked about the travel, local, as well as internationally. You talked about the promotions that one can get by being a AAA member. You can get five American Express, uh, mm -hmm. uh, and, and that's Gift a cards. bonus because each one of those costs four ninety five to six ninety five mm. per card. So that right there, that's probably the cost of your membership if you buy five of them. Mm. So you know, give us a sense of all of what we talked about all of the opportunities, the use of the travel agents, the, the ability to go in and get, get documents notarized mm -hmm. uh, without a fee, and all of these things, what's the, the price range for a annual membership? Yeah, so our standard membership is uh, well under $60. You can also get a plus or a premier membership, and those will give you some added benefits. But again, the pricing for those is under $70. I always say if you book a couple of hotel rooms in the course of a year, 
you probably will pay for the price of a membership. Uh, I have a daughter in New York. Um, we all know how much New York hotels cost. Um, I recently saved $50 off the, the cost of a hotel in New York using my AAA membership, and so that paid for the membership right there. Right. So if you're somebody who does like to travel and who books a couple of hotels every year, you're probably, again, going to pay for the cost of the membership with just one or two discounts on hotel bookings. And it's not just hotels, it's museums. Um, I went to the Queen Mary a few years ago in California. They have a, a, a AAA discount. Most museums um, and many attractions and many theme parks also offer AAA discounts. So if you're going to Disney, uh, you should know that uh, if you're going for a multi-day pass or a multiple day experience at Disney, we have um, discounted park hopper and Disney uh, passes. Um, so that's something to think about if you're going for multiple days to Disney. And so again, all of these discounts, whether it's at the Rentham Outlets or uh, on a Disney Park Hopper Pass or whatever it is, a hotel room, um, really easily pay for the cost of a membership in a short period of time. And then there are all the great free benefits and services, uh, the identity theft protection that you've talked about, uh, the notary. Uh, services, the discounted movie tickets, the ability to refinance uh, your car. Um, we even do college counseling. So if you need help with the FAFSA form, with the uh, sometimes daunting financial aid form, if you're applying um, along with your uh, son or daughter to college, we do college counseling services at AAA. Yeah. Well, Mary, this has been fun. Uh, I'm glad that I decided to come and host this program and get an opportunity to meet with and discuss with you. What you provided today has been uh, illuminating and I'm hoping that you, the viewing audience, have found this to be illuminating as well, that you take advantage of it uh, and go to AAA.com. So we're about to end the program. Mary, it has been great getting to know you. Um, great being and I here. look forward to uh, possibly running into you at some or, or, or more of the events that you have brought to our attention. So thank you so much for being here today. Well, thank you so much. And we're excited yeah. that we're going to have you as a new AAA member. Absolutely. <laughs> That's definitely going to occur. And I'm inviting all of you on, uh, who are watching this program to sign up as well. Have a good day.